problem. Hello there. So today is a very, very highly requested video. The sun is right in my face, I can tell. I have a very highly requested video and that is to open up all of the art boxes that I currently own in one video. Um, and as you can see, I do have a lot. I have four different brands of art boxes here. And basically, I am going to be opening all of them today and at the end of the video, I will be making a piece of artwork with some of the supplies inside. I was very, very kindly sent the Palletful Packs box and the Art Snacks box for free by the companies. Um, so thank you very much to them for that. And lastly, before I begin, I'd like to mention this video is being kindly sponsored by Skillshare, who without, I would not be able to purchase the art boxes that I do. So if you'd like to check out Skillshare, get free unlimited classes for two months for the first 500 people only, check out the link in the description. I'll talk a bit more about them later on in the video, but for now, let's get started opening these boxes. So first up, I'm gonna start with a sketch box. And I haven't opened one of these in probably close to a year now, but I do like that they print the artwork on the outside of the boxes. Inside we have, oh, this is better than I remember it. They have Copic markers inside and they have other markers. That's, that's a, what the hell is that? It looks like they have a combination of different markers in here. So let's take them out and have a look. So to start off, we have the King markers, the Copic markers. These are in shades VO9 and VO6, Violet and Lavender. Next up, we have three Sketchbox brush markers. I'm guessing these are Sketchbox exclusive markers because they have Sketchbox on them. So I'm just gonna go on a whim and say that this is a Sketchbox exclusive marker. But yeah, we have Blush, Coral Reef and Tangerine. So basically these are very similar to um, Copic markers, as you can see. Next up, we have this ginormous marker thing which is like i'm guessing it's two markers in one but it's three markers in one okay so this is called a tri blend by spectrum noir um it is a light green blend and you have lg1 lg3 and lg5 asmr it's like lego there's so many pieces to it next up we have a king art incline pen I've not heard of one. Oh, that's a nice. Oh, I like this. I like this nib. It's basically got a very, very fine pointed brush nib. We have our little menu. I've just realized it says July. That's really embarrassing. <laughs> Bit late to opening this, but it's the July box of 2019. We have our little sticker, as you can see. Very, very nice. We have some beautiful artwork by a lady named Janice. And last but not least, we have a little Strathmore sketchbook that says marker on it, which is kind of like the thin cardstock style paper, which is good for using markers with. I mean, I've opened a few Sketchbox boxes in my time. This, however, is a really good box. This is this is a fantastic box, actually. Chloe. So this next art box Chloe. is, hello. I think it's about time we start talking about the Skillshare sponsorship thing. Oh, what, right now? Yeah. Okay. Can I open this one first? No, okay. Okay, we're just gonna well, right now. We're, we're just gonna start. Do you want to explore and learn new skills like how to make art, how to better your art? Well, you're in luck because Skillshare has thousands of classes in art, illustration, graphic design, business, web design, and much more. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or a professional. Even just watching one Skillshare class, you will learn so many skills. So if you want to get unlimited Skillshare for free for two months, check out the link in the description. But it's further off. Check out the link in the description to get two months free. But it's for. 500 people only to check it out. Actually, I want to recommend you a class. This one is by a woman named Maya Fadal. It's called Illustrating Expressive Portraits in Procreate. And basically she's teaching you how she creates her very unique style portraits, basically. And it's a great class. You can learn about color palettes. You can learn about portrait features, textures, and she's just a wonderful artist. And I think it's a great class to start with. The next sketch box here we will open. I'm not sure what month this is from. It's probably from 2014 at this rate. Right, so inside we have some ink of some kind. So this is by Royal Talons. It is Amsterdam ink. We have some speedball calligraphy ink uh, in a nice little jar. And I was kind of tempted to smell it for some reason. I don't know why. This is in super black. We also have some calligraphy ink in white as well. We have a bunch of paper grass, which we don't like. We have a, ooh, what, this is a fancy, we got a fancy brush, people. Tender loving care of artist brushes. Silver Brush Limited by Deirdre A. Silver. I'm not sure, oh, is there, an, is there an instruction manual on how to use the paintbrush? Okay, it's not a, 
it's not an instruction oh it is an instruction manual okay this is actually quite interesting because not only does it tell you their selection of brushes that they have um, it also tells you how you should be cleaning them the types of brushes how they're put together next up we have a generals pencil or surface pencil it's just a black pencil writes on glass metal plastic and wood we got a little sketchbook sticker cool we have a beautiful piece of oh this is cute we have a beautiful piece of artwork by erin ewer we have our menu which if you want to take a guess as to how old this box is feel free to um okay it's august of last year which isn't too bad but still kind of shameful i do apologize i've just remembered that i actually opened this box a few months ago just briefly to reach in there because i noticed it had a posca marker in here as well as a water brush and I couldn't find either of those, so I stole it out of this box. And I don't know where they are now, but this box also had a little Posca marker as well as a water brush, which just makes it even better. And last but not least, we have a Strathmore Toned Blue Mixed Media Sketchbook. So that's it for the sketch box. I would genuinely rate these a 10 out of 10. Next up, we have an Art Snacks Plus box. So inside the Art Snacks Plus box, we have our little pouch of supplies. So inside we have a paintbrush. This is by Prince Art. Oh, it's the velvet. Sorry, I get really excited over paintbrushes. It's kind of sad. These are my favorite, favorite paintbrushes. They're really nice to hold. They're very soft. Um, and the paintbrush quality is decent and they're not that expensive either. A, what is this? A Karen, oh, this is my first Karen Dash pencil. I feel so fancy. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say I think this is probably a watercolor pencil, but this is a very, very pretty blue. Next up, we have our little green pouch, which looks like this. Oh, okay, so we have a nice selection of supplies here. The first thing I'm seeing is this set of bright, 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 bunzil. I'm so sorry, I butchered that. Bru, 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 zeal. bru zeal Holland. I'm so sorry. These are Art Snacks exclusive by the looks of it, and they are four coloured pencils in this like natural kind of colour. Then we have a Rembrandt watercolour tube, which is in. Why do you do this to me? Benzimdalzalone. <laughs> Why do they do this to me? Benzimidazolone Violet. I probably said that wrong too, but that's fine. We have two stickers. I, I've i got two stickers. Very exciting stuff. We have a graphite brush liner. And lastly, we have this beautiful turquoise paintbrush by Royal and Langnickel. It is a half inch brush. So this box is apparently the March box, so I'm on time with that one. Last thing. Oh, this feels like it's gonna be decent. Oh, wow. Okay. This is probably the nicest watercolour paper that I have ever owned in my life. And I don't do much watercolour, but this is nice. So this is a £140 cold press surface paper, which is really nice, which basically means it has a nice textured surface to it. And that's everything in the Art Snacks Plus box for today. Really, really liked that. Very, very happy with it. Okay, so next up we have the Smart Art box, which I'm very excited for because I really like Smart Art. They often have really decent boxes. Okay, so we have our little menu of stuff, which I won't look at just yet. Wow, damn, they really went off this month. Look at all this stuff. So the first thing we have is a brush carrier. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It's very, very cool. Okay, so this is actually very exciting to me because I don't have a brush carrier and this looks like a really nice one. Um, so we have a bunch of little elastic spaces for the brushes. And this is by Royal Langnickel. It can hold up to 18 standard handle brushes. We have a Hanamule zigzag. <gasps> oh, I've always wanted one of these. These are like those accordions. 300 gm 140 pounds with 18 pages so when you open these up they do this how cool is that we have a watercolor set this is by talons art creation and they look really nice and lastly we have some watercolor pencils i i actually don't think i've got any i've got some old watercolor pencils by prismacolor i think but these ones i've not heard of before they're by brunzeal brunzeal oh it's that word again and also we have some jolly ranchers these oh i am so excited for these palette packs boxes because i've not opened these in such a long time okay so inside the first palette packs box, oh it's purple grass okay and oh alcohol inks i'm not a fan there's so much in this so first up we have one two three four five six seven eight alcohol inks so that's pretty decent they all look like little garden gnomes a bit with their little hats but this is ta-da and these are by marabou and they i've used these probably once before we have a 
Caribbean, cherry red, lemon, metallic gold, turquoise, magenta, rainbow, aqua green. Next up we have a Princeton brush set. So these are very nice. This is a, this is an Inktober box. That's why we've got so much ink. I've just realized this is from October. We have a Yupo medium legion paper it says this synthetic tree free tree free paper very cool is everlasting and non-absorbent it resists buckling with wet media and can be wiped clean pigments will retain true clarity and brightness that is really really neat i like that a lot and last but not least we have an alcohol ink art panel which is eight by ten it is a double-sided vinyl hardcore alcohol ink panel so you can use it with acrylic paints mixed media especially alcohol inks so that was the october palette full packs box very impressed there was a lot in there i liked it a lot very very sad times we are on our last art box this one feels very heavy Oh, there's green. Oh, there's a pencil hiding in the greenery. So we'll start off with this. It is a Kohenor polycolor pencil in what looks to be gold. We have an Art Alternatives pigment liner set in 0 0.1, 0 0.3 and 0 0.5. We have tritone pencils, which are basically multicolored lead pencils. Um, I've never used them, but I really have wanted to for such a long time now. They are by Kohenor, which is awesome. We have a little pencil sharpener here. This one is by Kohenor as well. Our menu, which is from, this is from September. I actually didn't realize that Palletful did this. They have a prompt challenge. So every single week in the month they send you the box, they give you a prompt word. So week one was last, week two was old, week three was cozy and week four was coffee. So that's pretty cool. And lastly, we have a Bristol pad. If I can get it out. I didn't know that they did Bristol pads like this, to be honest, because they open up like a normal book. I really like that. So this is by Strathmore. It is 15 sheets and is for dry media. Okay, so that is everything from the art boxes so far. Let me know in the comments down below which box was your favourite. I'm going to make some art now with some of these supplies. I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet. Probably I'm going to lean towards watercolour maybe and then some pencils. I don't know. I'm going to see. But uh, wish me luck and let's go. So, I got all of the watercolour supplies together, took out the watercolour paper, and for some reason there was like this weird line of cardboard glued to the edge. I couldn't really figure out why it was there, because the cover wasn't made of cardboard, and nothing cardboard, to my knowledge, was touching it, so I don't know. I ripped it out and got to the next page instead, and I thought I'd paint a nice watercolour scene from Jungle Book. I thought the very, very, very limited colour palette that I had would work well for it, because it had mostly brown, uh, one blue, and two greens, which... Uh, isn't the best. <laughs> it started off okay, but I just wasn't really a fan of the colours in the set of watercolours. Every time I tried to make the blue look nice, it just went muddy. It wasn't good. Didn't like. They were really pigmented, to be fair, but for sure, I was just not a fan of the colours, and there was no way to lighten them either. I just... I kind of thought maybe I'd be able to fix it with the watercolour pencils, which for some reason resulted in me having these tiny little bits on the paper. I don't know why. <laughs> I initially thought it was the paper doing it, but it turned out that I think it was the pencils. But basically, after 20 minutes of trying to fix it, getting frustrated, making the colours worse, I got annoyed. And I don't normally do this, but I was, I loathed it. I loathed it. It was so annoying and I just didn't want to see the light of day of this thing ever again. So this time I started over, but now I chose to choose a scene that was darker and more muddier in general, so it worked better. Um, I kind of used the watercolour pencils as regular pencils as well as the tritone pencils over the top of the watercolour too, and it definitely worked better that way. Also, I definitely haven't used watercolour for a really long time because I realised I kept trying to use it like acrylic paint. It's not acrylic paint. I keep forgetting that you have you, you can't layer watercolor. You have to you have to start light and go dark, whereas acrylic you can go lighter or darker. And I kind of messed up the fox's face a little bit <coughs> because I was drawing it upside down. So I just tried flipping it, and would you believe it? It helped. I didn't have much color choice for the dog either, so I ended up just giving him a weird fake tan. And I finally found the white Posca marker that came with one of the boxes. And as always, it saved the day, I think. I highlighted pretty much everything, and I think it definitely helped a lot. Also, I thought I would just let you know that right now, I know it's a really difficult time going on all over the world, and it's very scary. Nobody really knows what's going on, but I'm going to do my best to avoid talking about any of this on my channel going forward, and just kind of try to keep a sense of normality in my videos, because I think we're all hearing about it so much that sometimes it's nice to escape from that 
Um, but you know, I realize the severity of it. I just don't wanna, I wanna try and keep normality in my videos so people can just escape from it for a while. And I'm gonna be doing a live stream going forward as well on my second channel. Um, I'm decided that I'm gonna start following some Bob Ross tutorials live and then we can like paint together once a week or maybe once every other week. I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to join, but I think it'll be a lot of fun to do it. But for now, this is how my art turned out. What do you think? I really hope that you like it. And once again, thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please, please keep yourself at home. Social distance for a while. It's not for long, but would you know, it's as human beings, we need to look after people. Even if you aren't at risk, there are older people in the world. There are people with health problems that this is really going to affect. So even if you aren't thinking of yourself, think of your other fellow humans and this will be over soon. So just take care of yourselves, wash your hands, stay safe, be smart, and I will see you in the next video.